Hey, how's it going? Amelia here. Let's check out what's making news. Justin Bieber is the latest celeb to land in hot water over copyright infringement. He's being sued for posting a picture of himself. Let's find out why. Biebs posted this pic back in March. The problem is that it was taken by someone else, who's now suing for copyright infringement. Copyright is a law that gives the owner of a work like a book, movie, picture, song or website the right to say how other people can use it. Meaning work, or in this case a photo, should only be copied if the owner gives permission. Even if you're the person in the photo, the person who took it usually has sole ownership of it. But some think it's time the laws were updated and that people should have more control over photos of themselves. It's not the first time celebs have been in trouble over paparazzi snaps. Earlier in the year, Ariana Grande was sued for posting these pics. JLo is being sued for posting a pic of her and her fiancé on her Insta story. And a photography agency were planning to take Gigi Hadid to court for a pic she posted in January, but ended up dropping the case. While no one knows what's going to happen with the Justin Bieber sitch, he's clearly not the only one in this dilemma. Now, how do you like the sound of living in an inflatable space launch? Well, NASA's investing a heap of money into designing them for a time when astronauts need to live on the moon or maybe even Mars. They're also thinking about a kind of inflatable space station that would orbit planets, complete with living quarters, a lab, and a spot for visiting spacecraft to dock. Oh, and toilets. Can't forget those. Don't you hate it when you're a kangaroo and you love the water, but people insist it's not your natural habitat and you have to get back on dry land? Well, that happened to this poor roo in Canberra. After being rescued, it wanted back in. Not to worry, water police eventually handed the splashy roo over to park rangers. It's now back to living in the bush, where it belongs. There are plenty of ways to raise money for charity. Selling clothes, baking cookies. But what about walking llamas? Well, that's what one Tassie family decided to do to raise money for people affected by bushfires. We decided to do some charity fundraising for bushfire relief for the bushfires in the southern Tassie. And we decided to do it on the Tassie Trail because the Tassie Trail was also affected by the same bushfires and has been uh, partially closed for most of uh, winter. And we use the Tassie Trail. These guys love to go for a nice hike along it. Hey. <laughs> I'm getting a bit of love. <laughs> and we walked between Sheffield and Railton. Uh, it was about 12 kilometres. These guys uh, have been uh, trudging along all day. I've been walking with Otto, and for the first oh, half, Otto was great. So we went a bit slower on the second half. <laughs> so uh, sometimes we take him for a little walk into Zellerain. We, we have a walk along the riverfront there, often through the train park, which is really popular. We have a lot of little kids coming up, coming for a pat. We always have a pocket full of treats, and uh, we share them out, and the kids love to have a bit of a pat and uh, a snuggle with the llamas and feel how nice and warm and fluffy they are. And we uh, certainly get a lot of attention. And now it's time to come together and have a good time with these next stories. We'll call this segment Celebrate Good Times. Come on. It might seem a little early to be celebrating Halloween, but these animals at London Zoo just couldn't hold back their excitement or their teeth when they were treated to a spooky orange ball of vegetable goodness, also known as the pumpkin. But they weren't any old pumpkins. The tigers was filled with red meat, while the ring-tailed lemurs' pumpkins were stuffed with sweet potato. Someone's going to get to celebrate their childhood dreams with a stay at Barbie's human-sized, real-life Malibu mansion. Yep, Barbie's apparently heading out of town for the weekend, leaving her three-storey pad, complete with a fencing court and walk-in wardrobe, up for grabs. The whole thing's part of a competition for Barbie's 60th birthday this year. The only downside is there's no water slide, since Barbie apparently never travels without it. Which seems a little impractical, if you ask me. And speaking of birthdays, these French twins are celebrating a pretty big one, their 100th birthday. Yay. The French twins say the secret to a long, happy life is family and a daily dose of bicarb soda in water. Weird. But OK. Well, that's it for now. But before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you liked this video, then please give us a big thumbs up.